everybody, so today is going to be a skincare routine. Now I know I I think I said I would do one in my last video. Um, I was going to get a video up yesterday but it didn't happen. Uh, it's really really hot and the weather is so nice. I wish I could film outside for you guys because it's like 5 o'clock and it's like my ideal being outside time of the day but my mum's outside. So it would just be awkward, like, start filming outside and stuff, so, yeah. Today's video is going to be a skincare routine, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be swapping over to a new one, and I wanted to show you the current one that I'm on, which I'm quite liking. It's just my skin gets used to things, so I have to swap. Um, when my those lots of products out, I swap to a different product, and then I might come back to some of those products that I've been using but I actually really like my I actually really like my skincare routine at the moment. It's just it needs swapping out. There are a couple of things which will remain a couple of staple items which I will probably use for a long time. But um some of this stuff is going to be swapped out but um that will come out in the future. Anyway, I wanted to do a video before things started running out so I'm going to quickly jump into that and show you guys what I use on my skin so let's just, just jump the first item that I use is the Garnier Pure Active Exo Brush Wash if you can see that and I'm probably going to do like a voiceover type thing so you'll see the product close up and the brush and everything it comes with a brush that just looks like this. Um, I'm using this other set of got sunburn, so I was being really, really gentle to my skin because it was a little bit sore on my face. So I haven't always been using this because it's normal, it's gentle product. But um, this is the Pure Active 2% purifying salicylic acid plus herbicide. The reason why this is really, really great for my skin and I found it amazing is because of the salicylic acid. Um, they do a moisturiser which I'm going to be switching to um, next but it's like a exfoliating wash but it's not like an exfoliator which I like because I need an exfoliating brush but it's just it when I first used it at Christmas obviously my skin went through like a purging stage by day three of using it I was like wow wow this year my skin, if I was used, been using this for them, like always, like from a couple of months I'll be really dedicated to my skincare and then I'll slack a bit. So whenever I've been using this, it, my skin has been really really nice. I, I really like this. So I use that every single morning apart from one morning, which instead I use the Visibly Clear Exfoliating Wash once a week instead of the extra brush wash. This is my exfoliant because it's got little like glue beads in and you'll probably see this when I do like the close ups. But um it's just a visibly clear gentle exfoliating wash. It's the one in like the orange packaging. And I actually quite like this. Like after I've used it I've noticed my skin feels really deeply cleansed so it's just keeps me going for the whole week. I, because I've got young skin, I don't need like a very tough exfoliating, exfoliant to try and get off dead skin cells and things. Um, I just want something that helps to clear my pores out. So this works really nicely as my scrub. Once a week I use this on the face. And I use this sort of Sunday usually. That's what I use. show you what I like to use in the evening now. The thing I like to use is the Amy Petal Perfect Refreshing Cleansing Lotion. Um, it's just got like a cap. And this I use every single night to take my face makeup off. I find this much, much easier to take off my face makeup than using wipes, which are expensive and just not particularly effective for my liking. Um, so I use this um, Amy Petal Perfect Refreshing Cleansing Lotion, which as you can see, I'm almost out of. Uh, well, I've still got a fairly decent amount left. So I actually really enjoy using this product. Um, 
as a cleansing lotion. While I'm at, I keep them in here, in this little tin, which I've got in a set of three from Ikea, so if you're wondering, that's that. Um, these are Lid Care Sterile Wipes. Sterile, sterile Eyelid Cleansing Wipes. And you can probably get these at your opticians. Um, I don't know whether they sell them in America. America. But um, my mum runs an optician and these are what I use to take off my eye makeup because I find them a lot more effective and they're better for your eyes than any other eye makeup remover I've ever tried. So um, lid care wipes, really, 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 really great. Um, like, mm, eye makeup removers. And they're so easy to use, you just tear the packet off, you get one use out of these. They are a little bit expensive and you get 25 wipes in the box. Um, look, I've got some in the bottom here. I don't know exactly how much they are, but they're not like the cheapest things. But I wouldn't say they're any more expensive than getting face wipes. Um, and they work a lot better. So if you're on the market for some good eye makeup remover wipes, um, then those are good. And they're really great for travelling as well. They used to do bottles, which came with like a, a big bottle and some pads. Which was probably a slightly cheaper way of doing it, um, which I preferred anyway. But um, they discontinued that for some reason, I don't know why, but they still do these. So I checked all local opticians to see if they do something, or pharmacy, or any shop like that that sells sort of eye products or things like that. So that's that. Then up at night, and then I use the Body Shop Vitamin E facial soap. Which actually says like Body Shop with mini facial soap on it, but I've used this for so long, it's so much that it doesn't say it anymore. But this lasts such a long time, and I'm going to be using this in my next skincare routine. It's just one of my staples. Just cleanses the skin enough at night. Let's take off the makeup. Just let it. Your skin repairs itself in the night. So something that's really gentle on it, like this soap, um, it's great to use at night. So that's what I use. Then, one more thing that I use on a daily basis, and this is the Amy Morning Dew Matte Finish Moisturiser. Um, as you can see, I've had to cut a hole in the top, I don't know if you can see that, but, um, because I am almost out, and this is like the product that I wanted to do this, because I'm going to run out of this, and I have to throw it away. I have got like a backup moisturiser, um, which will do the job, but it's not like a preferred moisturiser, it's just a an average one that I used to mix with my foundations when I've run out of this one because I knew I was going to run out of moisturiser at first and I didn't want to open one to go with my new skincare regime because I'm weird like that so I actually really like this moisturiser it's not too oily, it doesn't make my skin too shiny I use it morning and night because previously I just used it in the morning because um, I think I, I just thought I didn't need that much skin moisturisation but what I did find is even though the soap that I use is moisturising, it dries out your skin no end. So I had to use this both morning and night now. Um, it's amazing and I don't know, I probably will continue using this into my next skincare regime because I always like forget to use this. Even though I've got another um, like mask pack which my friend gave me. Um, but I just like this mask so fucking much and I don't use it that often. That's probably right, like, just easy to continue it into my next skincare routine. So this is the Amy Spring Clean Cooling Clay Mask. And they used to come in, like, packets. Um, but uh, they stopped doing that. I thought they completely discontinued it. I had a massive panic. I was like, no, my favourite. Um, but they do it in these bottles. And they're £5, which is not too bad. Because I think you get about 10 uses out of this. Maybe less, maybe more, I don't know, but I would probably get 10 uses because I've got quite a small face and there was so much product in here. I think I've used this bottle maybe three times, maybe two times, I'm not sure. Um, because, as I say, I never have time to do masks. Um, but I used it before prom and this cleans up my skin like really nicely. It just makes my skin real nice. So it obviously doesn't get rid of it every single spot. It really, really helps clear up my skin and spots. So if you suffer from acne, kind of prone skin and you want something to calm it down, just keep spots at bay, just, or if you have actually got a lot of spots or you're in a breakout kind of phase, which I always am on my forehead, this is a product to get.
because it is an amazing product to try. Okay, then I have one more product which sits in this little blue container and this is my spot treatment and I won't change this up. I never do. I've never found something like as good as this as spot treatment. I figured I'll show you. It's the Witch Doctor Skin Treatment Gel. It's like, what? What? That's not even a spot treatment. But then people use toothpaste and pseudocreme for spots. So, it's okay. And they do actually do a line specifically for spots. But I just find the, what's this? 85% which um liquid hazel liquid extract of witch hazel um like this is just the plain witch hazel gel stuff um and it's like the best thing ever i think for spots because it doesn't just like get rid of them for two days or uh, some things just like reduce spots but then they come back more angry after the product's worn off. Um, this actually just helps to completely get rid of them rather than just reduce the appearance. If so I mean so I really really recommend this product. It comes out in like a clear blue gel. I don't know if you can see that. But um, it's just one of those products that is a saviour and I will always use this. Always pick up new tubes these like you, use it, you can use it as an antibiotic, um, you can use it as like for sunburn even. I wouldn't use a little tube like this for that much sunburn, but if you've got it on your face, it's so cooling for sunburn. So, that is my skincare routine. I hope you guys like enjoyed it. Let me know if you like how I like... Um, I haven't done this yet. How I like do the products in different frame while well, the audio is from this frame is I think I might have figured out how to do it I haven't tried it on my MacBook yet but I was reading about it in a magazine earlier so I might have a little play around and see if I can do it but I'm going to go ahead and try and record those little clips now and I might do them outside to make them look nice um, and I will see you guys in my next video I'm actually thinking about just sorting out my vanity organisation just a little bit more because I've been waiting for a while because it's 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 kind of organised in the drawers and everything but um it's not like organised that well within the drawers so I might be doing a couple of different changes to that and once I do I might do a makeup collection if you guys want one but you'll have to request it if you do because I won't do one unless it's like really requested I don't know but I will do one if you request one so um, but it might be a little while coming because I don't know when I'm actually going to get this um, like set that I might get which is from Muji and then I was looking at some other door organisers from John Lewis, I can't remember the company of them Muji ones are like £10 for two drawers which I I know Muji is expensive but I thought it was fairly reasonable actually for Muji I was expecting to be like £10 per drawer so um I might be doing that but let me go uh, let me know what you think or if you've got any makeup like storage tips in the comments. Um but I will see you guys later and I hope you're having a great day and hope you're enjoying some of this sunny weather because it's supposed to be rubbish tomorrow. I went to the beach which is hence why I've got like a sunburn. Um and um I'm going swimming tomorrow to my friends. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you're having a great day and I love you all. Bye!